Let's talk a little more about North Texas football. We're going to go to linebacker EJ Ajia. Thanks for joining us today, EJ. Yeah, thank you for having me. Man, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I'm pumped up to talk defense. Love to talk defense. Got a defensive guy here. Let's start with you and this North Texas defense for the Mean Green. We know there's always room to improve, and, and you guys obviously have goals set coming into the season. What's the number one goal for you guys this season? Well, you know, our number one goal this season is really to increase our third down uh, efficiency, really just to get off the field. We're in a position where we're in third and long, which is third and seven and plus. Yep. Our main goal is to get off the field, get the ball to back to our offense so they have another opportunity to score. You know, we had we had some troubles last year just getting off the field a little bit. But this year, throughout this whole spring and this whole camp process, we built a better chemistry as a defense, and we're just ready to go, we're ready to prove ourselves. Yeah, man, third down, that's that money down, baby. Get paid, get off the field, get that ball back to the defense, or get the ball back to the offense. Um, when you talk about stepping up and improving in that, which defensive players have you seen just kind of working their behinds off this offseason and going into the season to help you guys get, get out there and get Ws in the fall? Well, you know, we actually have a few athletes that have just been perfecting their craft this whole spring and fall camp. You know, we have Ladarius Hamilton, who plays defensive end, TJ Tuwala, uh, another nose guard that we have, Rod Young, Brandon Gardner, all but uh, Jojo, Joseph and Ozubu. You know, those have been just some guys uh, in our front seven that have just been doing a lot of grinding in the offseason, a lot of pass rush techniques. You know, we've, we've just all been staying after in the weight room, getting extra work in and just – and just making sure we're hitting our blitzes on the right check. You know, we're all just, we're all just combine all of us. You know, we all just working hard and getting after it every day and making each other better. Yeah, man, iron sharpens iron. So every day when you guys go up against each other in practice, you are all getting better together. More and more people are becoming familiar with your head coach, Seth Luttrell. What is it about him that makes him so special, so good for you, for your team, and helps you guys kind of push toward those towards those goals? Well, you know, it all started when he first got here and he implemented the selfless, tough, and disciplined core values within all of us. And what it all stands for is self, you have selflessness. That's what you start off with. And that's basically how selfless are you? Are you willing to sacrifice yourself to put less strain on your teammates? You have the tough aspect, and, and that's just not tough physically. That's tough mentally. Football is a mentally draining sport. So as long as you're in the game mentally and, and physically – that's just one thing that will up your game to the next level. And then you have discipline. That's, that goes on. That's not just with football. That's within life. How disciplined are you to stay, you know, behind the ball, behind the line of scrimmage before he snaps the ball? Are you disciplined to hold your gap? Are you disciplined enough to do all of these little things that will help our team become great? And Coach Joe just harps on this every single day. If you ever notice in interviews, you're going to hear him say nothing but self and tough and just with us and just – Believing in those core values just helped us build chemistry as a team and brought us all together. And I'm just so thankful that I came to the North, to the North Texas and, you know, just bought into what bought into his words. And, you know, he's just been a great coach for us, and we're just glad to have him here. That's, that's words from the heart, my dude. Um, thank you so much for joining us today, and good luck to you guys in the fall. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for having me.